Hello friends, John here. I wanted to weigh in on the controversy of The Last of Us Episode 3. I'm a little late to the game. I wanted to give it some time for people to cool off that were angry and that kind of thing. And I had some time to think about it. Um, I think it was a great episode, but I, I'm i with the group that feel it sort of took out too much time in a series that has nine episodes. It would have been a better fit. It would have been a perfect show for an anthology, for like the Walking Dead anthology. Um, it could have fit into that universe perfectly. The story could have been exactly the same, just uh, Walking Dead, Walker, zombies, and it, uh, as a standalone episode, it's not connected in the future. The guys are dead. You don't need them as even minor characters that are reoccurring. So that would have been a perfect type of situation to have them. Uh, less people think, oh, I, I don't like it because it was a gay relationship. Let me, <laughs> I happen to think of a an episode that I think would have been good for another character that was just peripheral. It was a good character change it up a little bit, but listen to the story. The mycologist, the woman that was in the restaurant that is an expert on fungus, he had to cha would change her, make her a little bit younger. But imagine the episode was all about her. It flashed back to her. She's sitting in the restaurant waiting for her husband. She's got great news for him. He's going to meet her there after work. Now they flash back in her memory as she's sitting there waiting. They go back and they show her husband and her meeting and they meet in some romantic way. I'm not a good romance writer, so you'd have to get somebody that could write some rom romantic stuff to have some banter back and forth and they're flirting in some clever way with how they meet. And later on, he has a romantic date and he remembers something she mentioned that, that she was interested in and oh my gosh, that just shows so how much he cares about her already. And she bought him her little present. And they finally get married. And both of them want, above everything, a family. Even though they love their jobs, they, they, their culture and their inner desires, they want kids. They try and try, and it flashes through the different years. Uh, she thinks she's pregnant, and she's not. Then she is pregnant, she has a miscarriage. It's just horrible. And it goes through the years, they stick together. And they love each other so much. Now you pl flash forward to the present day morning. She's got a doctor's appointment. She's really hungry that day. Uh, she had some tests done and she stops in the bakery next to where she works. And she's really hungry. And the owner's like, we've got these special sweet rolls when the flour, fresh flour, we just had delivered. I got, I'll give you a couple. And, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll give you a couple extra free. And she just wolfs them down. Now she goes to the doctor's office and he says, I got good news for you. You're pregnant with twins. Oh, she's so delighted. That's why she calls her husband to meet her for dinner. She's not going to tell him on the phone. She's going to tell him at dinner. It's the happiest day in her life. Now she figures, I'm eating for three and I'm starving. She goes to another restaurant that the guy knows her and he's like, don't tell anybody I'm pregnant. He's Oh, free meal, our special today. I got some fresh flour and I got pasta. We made our best pasta. I'll give you a triple helping because you're eating for three now. And she just wolfs that down. Now she's sitting at the restaurant waiting for her husband. And that's when the government guys come in and get her and take her. To, but I'm waiting for my husband. They're like, we'll, we'll have somebody wait here for him. And then she goes and she looks at the guy that's infected and all that. And then she said, he... She says, how do you think they got it? Well, they're eating the flour. So she suddenly realized, oh my gosh, the, the greatest day in her life. And now it's the worst. And now she tells them to bomb the city. She goes back and meets her husband and they decide to take poison. She's going to take poison because she doesn't want any mushroom babies. And she's going to be a mushroom woman, a fungus woman. So the husband, he he's happy that they're going to have a family, but... They're all going to take the poison together. And that's a whole episode. Now, that would be a great Twilight Zone episode or something. I think that was interesting. I think I wrote a great episode. What do you think? But I would say, well, that takes up too much time. I don't want a whole episode. It's, what about Joel and Ellie? I mean, the little clip they had that she was in was good. You don't need a backstory for her. 
And it's the same with these guys. They, they, obviously, you can't have the a whole show just about Joel and Ellie, but if you have peripheral characters and you want a little bit of backstory, they should be somebody you're going to appear a couple episodes. Just my opinion. Um, anyway, that's my thought on that, that uh, it really just taken out too much time out of the episode. Uh, just an aside of not just a, applying to this episode, but I think they're cutting out violence and all too much that uh, the world's supposed to be dangerous, a horrible, dangerous place. And the, it seemed to be minimizing the threat, not as much violence that um, they don't need as much in the game, obviously, because you're not playing the game as part of the big part of the game is going around, you know, dealing with infected and regular people. But you don't need as much, but you need a little bit more than they're having. And I think they're zeal to cut down on gun violence and things is ruining the action scenes. They need some more action scenes. And um, that's my review for now. I'm a little bit behind on this series. I watch it after it's aired. So um, if you have any comments on my story or anything else, let me know. Thanks for tuning in.